Pfizer says it expects to more than double the 5 million COVID-19 vaccine doses per week that it's currently providing to the U.S. government. The drug makers uh, see... CEO made the commitment on Friday during a visit by President Biden to its Kalamazoo, Michigan production facility. Mr. Biden said that would put the nation on track to have doses available to all Americans by the end of July. But he cautioned that any sense of normalcy may still be many months away. Christina Ruffini is at the White House. Christina, good morning. Good morning. Well, while we all wait for that return to normal life, President Biden is trying to normalize relations with European allies, telling them in his first big foreign policy speech yesterday that America has their back. On a visit to a Pfizer production plant in Michigan, President Biden urged Americans to roll up their sleeves and do their part to fight coronavirus. The vaccines are safe. Please, for yourself, your family, your community, this country, take the vaccine when it's your turn and available. Earlier in the day, the president told European leaders that America will do its part. America is back. Both to support global health efforts and rebuild its reputation abroad. I know the past few years have strained and tested our transatlantic relationship, but the United States is determined, determined to re-engage with Europe. Backing up those vows of multilateralism, Mr. Biden pledged $4 billion to COVAX, the global vaccine initiative. And the U.S. officially rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, a move hailed by other signatories. And it's great, by the way, that uh, Joe has brought uh, the United States back into the Paris Climate Change Accords. He also brought back tough talk against Russia, something his predecessor tended to avoid. The Kremlin attacks our democracies and weaponizes corruption to try to undermine the, our system of governance. Russian leaders want people to think that our system is co more corrupt or as corrupt as theirs. But the world knows that isn't true. And he said the world was facing an inflection point. Our system of government versus theirs. And I believe that every ounce of my being that democracy will and must prevail we must demonstrate that democracy can still deliver for our people in this changed world. Now, that might seem like a tough sell funding vaccine efforts abroad when most Americans still haven't gotten their shot. But this is a global pandemic and health experts will tell you having the having the virus in any country threatens every country, including the United States. Dana. Yeah, Christina, interconnectivity. We are looking forward, by the way, to your piece when we roll into our number two. A double Thank dip you. from That's Christina. Right. All right. Sorry, guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>